Mackenzie Branham was a third grade student at Jefferson Elementary School in Jefferson, Ohio. Mackenzie absolutely loved school and loved playing with her friends. Everybody loved Mackenzie. Her teacher described her this way, quote, she always came to school every day with a big smile on her face. She was a happy-go-lucky young lady, unquote. On April 27, 2006, Mackenzie was upstairs in her bedroom when a fire had broke out in the house. Her mother, Mary Bronham, and the mother's boyfriend, Kenny Mossbarger, were both unable to rescue the eight-year-old girl. By the time the fire was extinguished, her little body was discovered in her corner bedroom. At first, officials ruled the cause of the fire an accident, but later it was determined to be arson caused by an accelerant which originated in the foyer of the house. What once was thought of as an arson case quickly turned into one of murder. At the start of the investigation, Mackenzie's father, Donald Branham, was suspected in the crime but was eventually ruled out. Donald continues to search for answers in his daughter's murder. He has claimed that Mackenzie and her brother were both abused in the home and that this was discovered and documented by a psychiatrist after Mary and Donald's divorce when the children began to go see a counselor. Donald says he was never informed of this and only discovered it after Mackenzie's death when the fire marshal's office requested that he get the children's medical records for the investigation. The psychiatrist had reported the abuse to Child Protective Services, but no action was taken in time. Donald believes that Mackenzie was molested and the fire may have been set to cover it up. Documents do corroborate Donald's claims of abuse as later vaginal, rectal, and oral swabs were reported to have tested positive for trace evidence of semen. Her official autopsy report was ruled a homicide which specifies cause of death as acute carbon monoxide toxicity due to inhalation of products of combustion.